Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. My name is Azizbek Rustami, and I am a nursing student at Daytona State College. My motives for starting up this YouTube channel are to spread education and spread my experience at Daytona State College nursing program. Uh, and so far, I've been in the program for seven weeks and everything's been rolling smooth and well. With this video, I'll take you guys along through my week in the life as a nursing student and share my experiences, give you guys tips. Maybe you guys can give me tips in the comments um, and you'll see how it is. You know, a lot of people going into nursing school uh, fear that they might not have time or um, that it's just too much for them. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's not. If you have the right time, uh, time management and just have balance in your life everything will go as planned and I'll I will share that with you guys and I'll show you guys that uh, so far we've taken two exams and I'm glad to say I've gotten very good scores on them we've also taken our dosage calculation exam which has to do with medications uh, it's a math exam and I'm glad to say I could pass that as well uh, so I hope to share my experiences with you guys through all my semesters. Right now I'm in the first semester and we have a total of four semesters. So I'm happy to say that I'll bring you guys along and enjoy. So I'm currently on my way to school. Today is a lab uh, from, it's about four hours, five hours, somewhere around there. Uh, this is where uh, we learn new skills such as administering medications, uh, helping patients with range of motions, and you know, um, simple ADLs and things like that. Uh, in these seven weeks, I've already learned so many skills that I can now apply in the clinical settings. Today, we'll be going over circulation and perfusion of the uh, cardiopulmonary uh, system, and we're gonna learn like what factors affect it, how to treat uh, people with problems. Like last week we went over uh, COPD and whatnot and high blood pressure. So being in nursing school, it can be very easy to uh, fall into this, um, this barricade of eating, uh, you know, junk food, fast food a lot and there's no there's no uh nothing wrong with eating junk food i mean not junk food uh, fast food because you can get many um healthy options from there you know but i'm talking more more specifically the greasy greasy foods and fatty foods and whatnot uh that can lead to many health problems in the future and many might argue that they say healthy food's expensive but if you look at it this way like uh, you 30 40 years from now Comparing someone who ate healthy versus comparing someone who ate not healthy That person who ate healthy has no medical problems, but the other most this is this is based on you know if everything goes well, of course, but uh, And the person who ate all that junk food greasy food, you know throughout their lifetime uh, was overweight obese then now they have numerous problems from hypertension cardiovascular diseases uh, and many more uh, so you got to look at it that way because you'd be spending even more money if you if that was the case in the future medications hospital visits uh, so it's important to uh, have a healthy lifestyle especially for nursing students um, yes there's a crazy amount of schoolwork to do and whatnot but it's important to not uh, time manage and uh, keep yourself healthy so belly's full and now it's study time tomorrow i've got a project i gotta present uh, unfortunately my partner didn't make it through the semesters and uh, in regards to that this program is very vigorous competitive to get in to first place so once you get in it's a big accomplishment but in order to stay in you gotta do your best of course you gotta you gotta stay on top of your studying, you gotta stay on top of your assignments, um, especially, you know, when it comes to exams, um, you have to know how to study. And you should already know that before you get into the program because 
because from past experience, of course, from human anatomy one, two, and microbiology, statistics, and all that, uh, I feel like before you get into nursing program, you should already know your own study ways. And unfortunately, my partner that was I was supposed to do the project with, um, he didn't make it due to the DA exam, the math uh, medication exam. And I've got to present it myself, so I got to do extra work today to see what he was going to go over in the project, uh, in the presentation. And hopefully I do my best and pass tomorrow. So when it comes to notes, I prefer to take my notes on the computer, laptop, or tablet, or whatever that's technology. I even sometimes take notes on my phone during class. Um, many people are different. I compared my notes from paper to uh, laptops or computers, and I saw on my past uh, test scores or my prerequisites that I did much better taking notes uh, on the computer because I, I don't know what it is, but I retained the information more. And when it comes to paper, I don't really pay attention to it. I put it somewhere in my folder or binder and I forget about it most of the time. So uh, with my laptop, I take it everywhere. Nowadays, you know, technology is everywhere. So um, it's better better uh, for me. Uh, everyone's different. I know a few students that prefer to take notes with uh, pen and paper, you know, and that's fine. But personally, I, I prefer the laptop. Um, you know, when it comes to taking notes, especially in lecture class when the teacher's talking, review what she's gonna go over before you go into the class. When you get into nursing school, that's what they tell you, especially in Daytona State, you they tell you to look at the, so uh, our class have has online lectures uh, for every chapter, so look at those online chapters and review, uh, review the uh, PowerPoints and whatnot. And then when you go to lecture, you have a little bit of idea what she's gonna talk about. And when she starts talking, take notes um, of course you should be listening to um, and but you should always take notes but not word for word is what I'm trying to say especially um, especially when you get become a nurse and you work at the hospital you're not gonna be writing down the doctor's order word for word you know you got to pick out those key points and that's just how it is in college too you know not just nursing school um, and not just when you work in the healthcare field, you know, back um, in your prerequisite courses too, you know, you should be doing that, you know, when review the PowerPoints and lectures, online lectures, when you get to lecture class, then you, then you write down the key information and whatever he or she emphasizes, your professor emphasizes, review that even more, you know, go over it three, four times, sometimes I go over it five times if I have to. I usually watch the video that my uh, professor provides for me, go to lecture, watch the video again, take additional notes. By the time the test comes per per chapter, I've, I've already reviewed it four times and that's how it should be, you know. Not reviewing once and then you're done. You should go over more and more to retain the information. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's currently seven o'clock and I'm about to head to school today is lecture day um i'm almost wearing a hoodie it's october and it just got cold today out of nowhere man it's freezing let me see it's 50 degrees um well that'll wake you up but uh today i'll be presenting my project hopefully everything goes well uh kind of nervous but um I'll get through it. I'm not sure sure what we're doing after. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be going over the um, the chapters that we're supposed to be reading to, uh, this week on uh, circulation and perfusion. And I forgot the other chapter. I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna be going over after uh, the people who's supposed to present presents today. Me and another group are gonna be presenting today. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. So I just got out of lecture class. 
uh, about five hours. Oh, let me just stay for the new students that are interested or just looking over nursing videos. Any nursing, um, you know, program, you got to anticipate the long hours you're going to be spending at school. Um, I'm done with class. You know, it's usually six hour lectures, but today was five hours. Uh, let us out a bit early. Um, just because my lecture is over doesn't mean, you know, my studying is over. Uh, I'm gonna go to the student center. It's very nice. Uh, Daytona State's a, a beautiful place. So, uh, and yeah, study a bit more. So I forgot to mention that I did pass the uh, the project. It was on STIs, uh, you know, different types: HIV, uh, genital warts, syphilis, HPV, and all that. And another thing you gotta um, you gotta be ready for is the projects. You gotta be ready to go up in front of the class and present whatever topic the teacher assigns you or whatever topic you choose. Um, just be ready for that. You know, it, I know many people, even myself, doing the prerequisites. We had a class oral communication. I didn't know how I was gonna do it, but then you know, it started off small. You know, small groups, and then got into a bigger audience. And you'll get used to it. You'll feel easy. Like the easier, it'll, it'll get easier. The more presentations you do, the more comfortable you'll get. Especially since I only had one day to uh, memorize and uh, research my partner's um, infections. You know, it was a bit harder for me. But I did it, and hopefully, I got a good grade. Um, so just look out for that. Those things when you're in nursing school or before you get into nursing school, be ready for those things. So one thing I want to mention for possible new students that are coming to Daytona State or the Daytona State's uh, nursing program are clubs such as uh, Global Friends, PTK, which is an honor society for students uh, with a GPA of 3.5 or higher, and um, Alpha, Alpha Delta Nu, which is a nursing honor society which hopefully I will be invited to by my th uh, by the time I get to third semester. Uh, requirements are you are to get like a B or higher in your classes and have a 3.0 GPA, uh, which I think I'll, I'll accomplish. I've came this far, so um, definitely recommend joining clubs like that. Uh, for example, I'm in PTK right now, as well as Global Friends. Global Friends is like a club with different cultures. Um, so it's it's good to get to know different cultures especially in nursing so when you become a nurse you will deal with different people from different cultures different religions and you'll have to you'll have to uh, accommodate for them you know such as for uh muslims you know uh more specific, more specifically um female muslims they can't uh you know have uh unless it's emergency they can't really have um a male caregiver or nurse or doctor really caring for them. Uh, if that's the only option, then of course that's okay. But uh, generally speaking, it's a preference to have a female caring for the female uh, and vice versa, a male caring for a female. Or when it comes to meals, not offering pork, you know, and things like that, because that can be offensive to um, some cultures and religions. So uh joining these clubs you'll learn a lot as well as it'll look good on your uh resume when you're applying for jobs or different colleges or universities uh, when you want to go for your bachelor's or your even your master's or doctors Mental health is essential for us nursing students and nurses and really anyone in the medical field because not only is it important for you, uh, of course, to have your stress levels low um, and make sure you're taking care of your overall well-being, but it's important to uh, keep it well for others as well, especially your clients and patients because they depend their lives on you. So you have to make sure you're in check before you 
make the wrong clinical judgment. Uh, studies from the National Center of Biotechnology Information concluded that high prevalence of depression, anxiety, and stress uh, were symptoms among symptoms among nurses were alarming, and that before COVID nineteen, they rated their overall well being and mental health on a one to ten scale around seven or eight, and after COVID nineteen, um, they rated them their mental health around the low fours and fives, which is very worrying. Um, besides it being bad for them, they were probably making um, the wrong judgments for their patients. And before you get to nursing, uh, before after you get into nursing school, uh, like for example, my instructor, she told us that uh, learn to say no. Uh, when you After you graduate and become a nurse, learn to say no when they ask you to pick up shifts or whatnot because just working those three 12 hours a week is more than enough, especially for your mental health. Uh, you know, especially with nurses, burnouts are no joke. Uh, not only for nurses, but nursing students, many get too overloaded and they just can't take it anymore. One thing I like to do is I, I let it all out at the gym. I, of course, get your priorities right first, your studies and everything, but don't overdo it, you know, take time, it's okay, you know. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to show that you ha you can have a balance while you're in nursing school. So what I like to do is um, set my schedule, and it takes about two to three weeks after you get into nursing school to get that schedule right. So after I did that, I figured out that three times a week is the only, time, uh, only uh, amount of time I can come to the gym per week. And those three times I'm in the gym, one to two hours and I'm pushing myself to the limit um, of course it does take you know mental uh, mentally and physically too but I it's calming for me um, on the mentally aspect of course my body aches after but it, it aches in a good way and everyone's different you know but it's very important to relieve your stresses and just take a break you know don't don't study for 24 or 7 you know um make it make a calendar make a, get a, like a a planner write your write your priorities down first your study times on everything and of course time for your friends and family and time for yourself you know like go on walks if time for yourself is with family then go ahead and do that but make sure you relieve your stresses hey guys uh it is the next day Yesterday I got back from the gym and was extremely exhausted, so I just hopped in the shower, drank a little protein shake, and went right to bed. Um, and today I woke up with a bit of a cold. I don't know if you could tell from my voice, but <clears throat> I did uh, get tested for COVID and the flu because I was a bit worried. But thankfully it tested negative, and it's just a common cold, so I just got to stay hydrated and uh, try to increase my vitamin C and uh, up the immune system. Uh, this does conclude this week's video um, for next week. I got something planned like a Q&A for uh, nursing students uh, it's more specifically in my class the first semester nursing students and um, If you guys enjoy seeing this type of content, maybe please consider subscribing um, And if any potential nursing students or current nursing students have any uh, comments questions or suggestions, please drop them down below and I'll definitely try to make a video in the future, like maybe a Q&A based off of your guys' questions. Um, and, of course, learn from that. Uh, I do thank you guys very much for uh, sticking around and watching this video. And I hope to see you guys next week. See ya.